All right, so once again, we're debuting a, a brand new feature on Saturday Morning Q today, and I have a feeling it's going to be a very popular one. Um, this is a feature called Ask the Experts, and we're very proud of all of the expertise that we have here at PVC, not only among the host team, but where we learn a lot of our things are from expert guests like you, Mark. Thank you. So, uh, Mark is an expert in um, electronics. That's um, right. So, computers, televisions, cameras, all of that stuff, which I'm not. I'm very low tech. Yeah, that's so, good. Oh, I try to break down the geek speak into street speak. I as told I like Mark, to say. I said, let's, <laughs> let's talk like you're talking to both me and my husband, who's a total techie. So, that's sure. what we're going to do today. Great. So, we've asked you earlier in the show to send in your questions to our special page on QVC.com on our Facebook page. So the first question we got is from Cindy and she says, Mark, what do you look for in a good pocket camera, especially for use in low lighting? Right. So a couple years ago, that would be hard to find. Those compact cameras for your purse or your back pocket, as, as well as cell phone cameras, don't take good pictures in right, low light, right? right. The, the photos look grainy, or as we call it, noisy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but you, there are times where you don't want to use a flash because you can get a washed out look or, you know, uh, get that creepy red eye out of your or pets you and your kids. It's obnoxious <laughs> to have a flash going off That's at the true. dining table in yeah. a nice restaurant. It can ruin the, ruin the moment. Yeah. Good point. So what do you do? Well, uh, you, I used to recommend buying those big uh, SLR or single lens reflex cameras you sometimes see hanging on a lanyard around someone's right. neck. Right. But now there's a new category in between point and shoot cameras, the little guys and the big DSLRs. The, the category is usually called a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. So okay. that's that's a great uh, pick because you have best of both worlds. You okay. have the size that you want for, I believe uh, the caller asked about uh, a, a small, small pocket camera, camera, a pocket mm -hmm. camera, yet you get the performance of a big SLR. Okay. So that way you'll get good lo low light performance because it has a bigger sensor, a faster processor, and the ability to swap lenses. And I'm imagining a better price tag than a big DSLR. Yes, absolutely. So, um, so a great suggestion. Thank you so much great. again for your expertise. Um, we will be hearing more from Mark, answering more of your questions throughout this Saturday Morning Q show.